Hello and welcome to ICANN Media. I'm your host, Rob Hislop. We are at the Global Petroleum Show looking at one of the many displays that are here. And this is a fascinating one. It's Rapid 3D as a company. Peter Dobson joins us right now. Peter, thank you for joining us here on ICANN Media. Yeah, thank you very much for uh, for having us here. So I'm from Rapid 3D, and Rapid 3D is a uh, a provider of 3D scanning technologies. So what we do is uh, scan uh, scan equipment, and we're able to then uh, model, prototype, and also uh, print uh, uh, you know print these parts, uh, and and also scanning up uh, scanning has applications for inspection as well. Well, f if I can ask you first off, what would the applications be in the petroleum industry for something like this? Uh, the major uh, application is is for inspection. So what we would do is is uh, capture the capture the area in three D and compare it to uh, a nominal and and see whether it that fits uh, for conformance in in shape, uh, but also to, to assess whether there would be any damage or corrosion uh, to to any of the pieces that we were inspecting. Okay, so how do you go about doing something like that? What we would do is use a, a 3D scanner to capture the surface. So why don't I start by uh, demonstrating that? Absolutely. Tell me what you've got in your hand first off. So what I have here is a product uh, from Creoform uh, called the uh, MetroScan. And the MetroScan is a product that uh, uses an external tracking system to reference itself in space and is going to project lasers onto a surface and then capture the position of those to, to, to make measurements to uh, a very accurate standard. So what we're looking at is, is accuracy to plus or minus 30 microns. Uh, in the in the surface, so it's it's uh, it's you can get to some very tight tolerances here, uh, and it'll capture a, a, an object in full 3D in real time. Okay. It's funny because you say plus or minus 30 microns, and I'm thinking, why don't you just say it's perfect? <laughs> well, we live in a we live in an imperfect world, so everything is going to have a little bit of variation, a little bit of changes to it, and that's exactly what we use 3D scanners for. Okay. So show us then what, what you would do. Okay, so what we do here is I'm I'm going to aim the uh, the lasers at the surface. And, uh, and start scanning. So on the screen uh, behind me there as well, you'll see in real time uh, that, it, uh, that it shows up on the, on the screen as it captures the surface. So as the lasers pass over, the computer is recording uh, the location of each of those points and then building a, a surface in, in real time. So then what is the practical application of this? What would you do with this and when you're done? Uh, what we would do with this is uh, compare this scan data to a, uh, a nominal part and see whether uh, this part has been manufactured to, to specification. Uh, another thing we can do with it is, uh, is do um, reverse engineering. So let's say you had a legacy part that you didn't have a drawing for. What we would do is, is take this part, use it as a template to be able to recreate a uh, CAD design uh, for, for the part incorporate that into your library or uh, you know reproduce it through uh, through manufacturing or indeed through 3d printing so is this brand new technology is it would you call it cutting edge or has it been around for a little while well it's certainly uh, cutting edge technology uh, you know that being said it has been around for uh, for a number of years and is, is starting to mature um, Creaform produces uh, uh, products that are uh, top of the line and and are uh, some of the fastest and, and most accurate on the market. So we certainly like to stay uh, ahead of the curve and, and use the best technology available to us. Um, but uh, the 3D scanning market and uh, 3D printing market is starting to, uh, to to grow, and there 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 are all sorts of different uh, uh, products that uh, even consumers can get their hands on now. Well, it was amazing to see how fast you were able to draw that. I mean, it's not quite finished, but it wouldn't have taken much longer. You compare this to the amount of time that it would take for a visual inspection or a human to go over it and see, it's substantial, isn't it? Absolutely. For Let's say for reverse engineering inspections, uh, for, for a part like this that I have on the table, what I could do is spend uh, you know a number of minutes uh, scanning it to make all those uh, observations, make all those measurements, and then reproduce the reproduce that. Traditionally, with uh, you know with with tools, uh, you know calipers or, or things like that, where uh, uh, where someone would have to come in and make all those manual measurements manually. You're right; it's certainly much slower to do that. This tool uh, here is is taking 480,000 measurements per second at its fastest. So it's it's really able to make uh, you know a lot of those measurements very very quickly, and we're able to cut down on on a lot of the time it takes to uh, uh, to reproduce part. What's the response been to it here at the Global Petroleum Show? Uh, we've had uh, some really excellent response. We've uh, we've had a lot of interest in the technology, uh, not only 3D scanning but 3D printing. It is really, as you said, the the kind of the cutting edge of uh, of technology to be able to uh, scan and uh, model and, and prototype uh, 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 parts. So it's it's really revolutionizing uh, uh, manufacturing. 
Peter, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. We've been chatting with Peter Dobson from Rapid3D.